everyone, this is Mel from Cardstock and Collections. I am back again with another uh, Valentine's Day project. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this. This is going to be using Stampin' Up's um, lovely glassine sheets as well as their Sending Love Designer Series paper, their mini paper clips. So a few things. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay. I'm going to do all the stamping first and the Big Shot work first. The first thing we're going to do is grab in our stamp set. Now, I am using the Watercolor Wishes stamp set. So that lovely Watercolor Wishes uh, all-inclusive kit that we had, had, have, technically, um, in Stampin' Up's catalog, you guys can see it at the top of the screen, came with this beautiful stamp set. So what are you going to need? You are going to need a piece of Whisper White. Now, just make it large enough that your stamp fits. Today I'm using just a note. So grab your Whisper White, your Real Red ink, and we are going to stamp. Okay, so first and foremost, let's ink up our stamp. Oof, man, I got a really inky Real Red ink pad. Um, straight down, straight up, beautiful. Okay, mine's very juicy, as it turns out. Go ahead and close that up, set that off to the side. Um, you are also going to need while well, that's kind of giving a few seconds to dry here, grab yourself a piece of uh, real red cardstock. Then go ahead and grab in your layering oval framelits dies. Now, which one are we going to use? We're going to use the two smallest ones there are. You have the smallest oval and then the smallest scallop oval. We're going to use them both. Now, I can tell you that it does fit. Your smallest oval does fit, as you guys can see around that. If you are using a little bit bigger of a sentiment, just go ahead and test it before you actually run it through your Big Shot. Okay, picking these up for just a second here. Grab in your ugh, Big Shot. Now today I am using the magnetic platform. So my cutting mat will look like my magnetic platform. One cutting plate. Grab in both. I'm going to do this all at the same time. So I'm going to line up my note. Now I did just a note because I'm actually using these as thank yous in a class. Um, you guys can use your so loved. If you have another Valentine sentiment in there, go ahead and use that. Um, Beautiful. Okay, that works. And then I'm just going to stick this one up here. That one's not quite as important if it's lined up or not. Go ahead and put your other sandwich on top. Crank it through. Now, if you hear it pop like that, that's okay. That's the Big Shot doing its job. That one too. So if you hear it crack, pop, that's all right. That is normal for the Big Shot to do that. It just means the cutting plates and everything are doing what they're supposed to be doing. Ah, come on off there. Okay. So we have all that done. Let's go ahead and set this off to the side. Next, grab in your Simply Scored scoring tool. And then you're going to grab in one sheet of your sending, okay, I'm going to do this right, sending love glassine sheets. They come in six inches tall by 12 inches wide. Go ahead and stick that 12 inches at the top. And we are going to score as follows. I'm going to make mine a little bit skinnier than my first one here. So we're going to score at four inches. Oops, careful. Score at four inches. I'm going to tell you, this stuff moves quite a bit. We're going to hold it in place a little bit there. Give yourself a nice score line in there. Four inches. And then again at eight inches. So again, four inches and eight inches. You can see here, I'm kind of going back quite a few times here. It folds really nice and easy, but to get the score line in there to the point where you can see it is kind of difficult. Then come in here and do it at three quarters of an inch. Score three quarters of an inch. Okay. So all your scoring, go ahead and set that off to the side. You're now going to want to fold and, all, fold and burnish all of your score lines. 
And I would be careful, make sure you can actually see your score line as you're folding it. I don't know, it's hard for me to see. I've got a lot of light going on here. Try to make sure you guys can see that I almost can't see. Okay, uh, where did I stick my bone folder? There it is. And just burnish like, I mean this folds beautifully. It folds really, really nice. Um, but you just need to make sure that you get it folded and you get it burnished well. The second one's a little bit easier because you know it's the exact same size as your middle there. So then burnish. Okay, and the last piece is your bottom. So just, oh, as I go off the camera screen, there we go. Sorry about that, guys. And fold it gently, gently, gently. Okay, so I did test out um, if you can actually color the glassine bags. Um, I've never really used any of the glassine bags. I know that Stampin' Up! sells pre-made ones in our catalog, um, which I have got friends that really like to use them. I have never used them. So I was like, hey, I'm gonna give it a shot. We're gonna use this and we're gonna make our own. Um, so I did test out trying to ink them. I found that I didn't like the way they inked up. Um, they do take the color, but it's very, very faint. Um, so I didn't really like that. Okay, so you have your three big rectangles and your three small rectangles. The three small ones are your bottom and you have three of them. So the one in the middle is the one you want to keep. Again, keep the one in the middle, remove the other two small rectangles. And I did this just by cutting along that score line. If you guys are not as brave with your scissors as I am, go ahead and use your paper trimmer. Or in your case, if you're better with your paper trimmer, unlike me, um, go ahead and use that. I also just angled in my corner there, just for prettiness sake. That's the only reason. <laughs> there was really no other rhyme or reason to it but that. Um, I thought it looked pretty, so I wanted to do it. And then just cut off this other end as well. Again, keep the middle, but get rid of both ends. It also helps if you have slightly longer scissors than what I'm using right now, but. Okay, you guys have long scissors, like normal everyday scissors, go ahead and use those. That'll make that cutting process a little bit easier. All right, so fold one side in, get it all lined up and ready to stick down. Oh, I made this one a lot smaller. Feel to fall. Okay. So then we're going to take a line of adhesive. I'm using Fast Fuse. Run it down one end. Then I'm going to take it over here. I'm going to run it down the side over here as well. Okay. Whoops. Fold over. Stick it down. Both sides. Fold it over. Stick it down. Now, do you really need both sides to be four inches? No. Can you really cut off three of that four inches? Yes, but I didn't want to do any cutting, so I didn't. Okay. That and it makes your bag just a little sturdier. Add some to your bottom flap, fold it up, stick it down. You have a beautiful bag. Now, as you guys can see, it is smaller than my original. Okay? It is smaller than my original. Um... In my directions, I will put large, and I'll give you guys the dimensions for this one, and I'll put small, and I'll give you guys the dimensions for this one, okay? So this is the one we're making today, but this is the four inches and eight inch score lines. I will put this score line, neck, or these directions next to this one. Okay, so back to what we were doing, right? Okay, you're all done with that. Set that off to the side for just a moment. You're going to want to cut, grab, However you want to do this, a few pieces of Sending Love Designer Series paper. If your paper is directional, please check what direction your paper is going, depending on what direction you want it to go. I have here six pieces. Now, I'm going to give you guys the dimensions for all six. Don't worry about writing them down. Click in the description bar below. It'll take you guys to the free tutorial, which will have it listed for you. You have two pieces, or you have one piece that is three quarters of an inch by three and a half inches. You have one piece that is three quarters of an inch by three and three quarter inches. 
you have one piece that is one inch by three and a half inches. You have one piece that is one inch by three and three quarters inches. You have one piece that is one and a quarter inch by three and three quarter inches. And you have one piece that is one and a quarter inches by four. Yes, four inches. Okay, again, go ahead and click in the description bar below. It'll take you out to the directions. You don't have to memorize any of that. Okay, if you guys have the triple banner punch or triple punch, triple something, put it at the top of the screen here. Um, go ahead and use that. I'm just gonna use my scissors today and we're just going to pennant the ends of all of these. Again, if your paper is directional, please check woo, what direction your paper is. Now, I made some of my pennants in my original um, deeper. I made some of them shallow. So kind of mix it up, mix and match, it's all good. They don't have to be uniform, they don't have to be pretty. Um, this is just you. So as you guys can see here, sometimes I'm cutting off a little extra, sometimes I'm not. Um, in my original, you can also see I inked a few of them, Pool Party. I just took a sponge and my Pool Party ink and I just went over it. Um, I wanted to see what the all red one looked like this time. Just wanted to see what it was going to look like. Um, oops, that's not going to work. There we go. I'm talking as I'm doing this. So there we go. See, I'm almost done here. Okay, almost to my last one. Now I am alternating sides, so if I have three that are predominantly red, I'm having three that are predominantly white as well. Um, and the reason why I'm doing that is because I like the contrast between the red and the white. If you want them to be all red, go ahead and put them all red. If you want them to be all white, go ahead and put them all white. <laughs> There's really no rhyme or reason to this. Okay, so then I'm also taking and I'm layering. Now I'm not trying to layer pretty, I'm not trying to layer perfect. I am just trying to, and I try to layer white and red together, like red over white and white over red and all that kind of stuff, um, just because it gives it a little bit prettier. So as you guys can see here, I have done that. I'm going to grab my stapler. If you guys don't have a stapler, you can actually glue this together. I just want a stapler to be easier. And I added a staple. I know, I had so much going on here. Okay, <laughs> go ahead and fill your treat bag. You're gonna want to fold over a smidgen. Now I didn't put a score line in here because I didn't know how full you guys wanted your treat bags. So if you guys want your treat bag fuller, go ahead and you might need a smaller little fold. If you want your treat bag a little bit, you know, emptier, you can have a bigger fold, depending on how you look at it. I am using our new mini paper clips. You can find them in the Occasions catalog. And white's a little hard to see, so I'm gonna use silver this time. So there's me, we're gonna use that. Now, I use this for two purposes. A, it holds on my garnishment. It holds on my, my decoration. B, it closes the bag all at the same time. Now, if your paper clip is a little stiff, just go ahead and work it out a little bit. I found that these things are extremely stiff and tight, um, but just open it up just a little bit and they work beautifully. Okay, so as you can see, go ahead and do that. Remember when we stamped our lovely note and we die cut it out with our layering ovals? We're going to start layering. So grab yourselves a dimensional. And I want to put it on the back of just a note. Layer that on top of your and I wanted a very thin border of red. Let's go ahead and layer that on top of your, oops, didn't get it in the center there, your scalloped oval. Oh, there we go, okay. Let's see if I can get it in the center. There we go. I'm gonna pop that around and I'm gonna put one dimensional on the back of that as well. We're going to take that we're going to stick it, ooh, I think that's really cute. Okay, stick that in the center there. Now, in my original here, I used 
Sending Love Embellishments. I'm not sure it's going to fit on here. I'm not sure if I'm going to like it. Let's see if I can get this open. I'm on a level heart. Hmm, I think I do. All right, so I grabbed the smallest heart. They have the heart, the flower. There's a small flower with a ring. Then there's a small heart, and this is the ring to the small heart. And then you guys saw my bigger hearts there. And we're going to grab a mini glue dot here. And we're going to attach it using a mini glue dot in the center. Now I'm just folding the mini glue dot up just to make sure it sticks to the wood specifically. And I'm going to put another one somewhere near the bottom there just to give it a little extra stick. There we go. Okay, so I just kind of rolled it. Find where you like it, and there you go. So again, I'm going to put out the direction or the score lines to the large and the score lines to the small. They use the same size sheet of paper, um, and everything else is basically the same. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like this video, go ahead and like it. If you would like to see more of this type of video, please go ahead and subscribe. And if you have any comments or questions, Go ahead and leave me a comment or send me an email and I would be happy, 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 happy to answer those. If you have any questions, please let me know. This is Mel from Cardstock Concoction saying see you guys next time. Bye.